You ever come home after a vacation and your house is hot because your air conditioner broke? So this video, I'm gonna fix this problem and take you along for the ride to see if we can figure it out. And this just pushes back. All right. If you look in this little vent hole, you should see water running and I don't see water running, so pull this one Let's see if I see I, I feel air which is good but no water okay that means that it's probably not locked up all right next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna see if I can find some open feel inside of here see if that's cold and it's not it's warm the fact that this line is warm tells me that the problem is outside Okay, next thing we're gonna do is rule out a flipped breaker. So I'm just gonna flip both of these systems off and flip them back on again. So neither one was tripped, so that rolls that out. So we verified that the breaker's fine. We're now gonna go outside and look at the condenser part. All right, here's my two units. This is the upstairs one right here. So we're gonna turn the air on and we're gonna to listen to what happens out here. So I hear it trying to activate, but it's not activating, which tells me that the capacitor is probably the, the most likely thing. So we'll try replacing that first. Okay, back to here. We're going to cut off the power again. We've got a new capacitor uh, from Amazon that was really cheap. It's amazing how cheap they are now. Um, I've got a pair of pliers and this is just a voltage detector. I'll just test it. Uh, this, you want something that will, yeah, something that will detect voltage. You can use a multimeter, but this is just easier because you just kind of point it and it beeps. Uh, I just want to make sure before I touch anything that nothing has any power still going through it. I need to take this plate off here. Looks to be only a couple screws. <sighs> there's our capacitor. Check to make sure there's no power going to this. Okay. Okay, we're also gonna check up here on this relay and there's nothing. No power. You can see one's for compressor, one's for the fan, and one's for the, what does it say? Kerm, I don't know what Kerm is. <laughs> All right, there's a C there. This is probably Kerm and this Probably says fan. Let's see. So if the C's over there, yeah. So that matches up. We'll get our C wire. Uh, this should just come right off. Doesn't really matter if you put these on the same lead or not. Let's see. The next one is the fan. There we go. Now it's in there. We're going to go turn the power back on and hope this thing turns on. Now, anytime you cut the power back onto an air conditioner, there's going to be a boot up or some type of a initialization or delay. Okay, cut the power on. Now I'm going to turn on the thermostat. So we'll see if this works. All right. 
right, and we're running. So that fixed it. I'm gonna order another one of these parts just to have a, a spare, because I do have two air conditioners and it's only a matter of time before this next one stops working. So uh, hopefully this video was helpful and uh, I'll catch you next time.